Say goodbye. So I'm all packed up in the car, ready to go. And I have to go pick up my mom. And then we are driving to Spokane, Washington. <laughs> There's dog. Bye. Let's go pick up my mom. Picked up the mother. Yay! <laughs> and now we have to drive to Spokane. Here we go. Here we go. The drive is only about four hours long, but we lollygagged our way through. First stop, ice cream. <laughs> and we had to cross the American Canadian border by car. Next stop, Hobby Lobby! The drive only takes three hours, but it basically took us all day to get to the hotel, and that was fine by us. Girls trip! Nothing to see here, officer. We didn't have to get up super early. Our flights left are in the afternoon, uh, but we had to make our way to the Spokane airport. And I forgot to check our bags, so we had to go all the way back to check them. So that's me power walking. <laughs> And our first destination was Minneapolis. So we boarded that first plane. Super easy flight, all was good, and landed in Minneapolis safely. So at this point, both my mom and I were pretty stressed out. We broke out the GABA, which is an anxiety relief, and that's because we were scheduled to fly right into a tornado warning. We don't get tornadoes from where we're from, so that was like very stressful. This is our last video before we die on the airplane. <laughs> We actually managed to talk to the pilot. His name was William and he was amazing. He was hilarious and very good looking and he reassured us that he would get us to Horse Fest safely in one piece and it would not be a problem. The GABA also kicked in so we laughed our way through this whole flight. We made it to Louisville and it was pretty late at night at this point. I think it was like 11.30 p.m. So we were pretty tired, but we were also very, very excited. We survived. We lived. <laughs> there, was, there was no tornado. It was perfectly smooth. William is our hero, number one fan. So we made it to the hotel. I didn't get footage of that and went to bed. Thursday morning, we had to get up super early and we made our way to the Kentucky Derby Museum. This was part of our trip. The early morning tour was not super ideal. We were pretty exhausted and we were promised to see horses warming up on the track, but because of the tornado warning and the thunder in the area, they canceled their warmups early. So we didn't see horses at all. We had no reason to get up this early, but the museum was really cool. There's a lot of artifacts. They had this plastic horse that looked just like Marigold, and of course, both of us had to ride it. It's kind of cool to see how the jockeys feel, even though the stirrups were very uneven. And uh, they had this riding simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Go faster! Go. We met up with Mariah Vogue. I've never met her in person before, but we got along great. And she also had to ride the racehorse. And then she generously offered to drive us back to Lexington. And this was our little rental house that we rented with a bunch of friends. But pretty much right away, we made our way to the Clarion for the first time. And I wasn't allowed to go in myself. I had to wait in the lobby until everyone arrived because everyone wanted to see my face expression when I saw the Clarion for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see, we'll come by. She's never experienced the Clarion before. Like, no, believe you me, my first time, I was like very yeah, over the entire time. Yeah. Oh, Maggie steps in there. Hi, Maggie. Hi. 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 H
DJ me. Yes. Pretty much right off the bat, I was getting recognized. Wednesday was the perfect night to go though because things weren't too, too busy. So we were able to say hi to some people. We were able to find some good deals. And you do believe I was a shopping. This was my shopping spree. What was that? Next merge. Do we already merge into that one? <laughs> yeah, the clarion is no joke. It's very easy to get lost. I found Vincent, so that was exciting. I also found Sasha, she was so sweet. And a couple other people that made me feel really special and appreciated. The Clarion is kind of like a vortex though. We were there pretty late and we basically forgot to eat or sleep the entire time, but apparently that's just normal Briarfest happenings. So Thursday, we made our way to the Resin Renaissance show, and then right away, we crossed over to the Griffin Gate Hotel to deliver Mabel, my contest horse. And I got to check out some of the other entries there, which was really cool. We also got like an advanced screening of the stone horses. I've never been to this event, so it was really interesting to see them all on display, and we were able to select some that we wanted to see. This cob was actually painted with the same reference that was used for Mabel, just a happy accident, so it was kind of cool. And me and Mariah have very different styles. She likes the Carmelo, and I like the contrast. <laughs> I also met Taylor for Kingston Studios. This is Taylor. I used to watch her videos on YouTube behind my mom's back. She was super sweet. We had a good laugh. And Vincent came with his wonderful entry as well. So we got to chat about that. And then somehow or another, we got a free meal. Aaron came by and invited us to the launch party. And then we made our way back to the Artisans Gallery. Lynn and Raven collaborated on the Premier Club horses. Team Canada. They revealed them and all of the merchandise for 2024. All of the best customs contest and trees were also on display. Super cool to see all of these in person. Some wonderful, wonderful art and the gallery was crazy. This was honestly one of my favorite parts. It was really cool to be able to meet some of these artists that I've admired for a long time. This guy was hilarious. He bought one of my horgs and then he also had the limo horse. It was apparently a thing. Sasha and her wonderful time carousel piece was there and I spent a long time looking at this. She is an incredibly talented artist who only entered the scene a couple years ago and is already sculpting and casting her own resin pieces. Also Bethany's wonderful racehorse piece was there on display. She does incredible work as well. Laura Skillern, one of my idols, and I did end up buying this Aquisa resin from Vincent. Kinsey of Ride Teal Dark was there, and of course we had to sign her signature horse. Friday was Briar Fest, so this is when all the excitement begins to happen. But let me tell you, when they say Kentucky's hot, they mean it. Immediately, there was a horse, and the lines were crazy, and we weren't sure how long the lines were gonna be, so we were apprehensive on like what time we should have been there because it was their first time doing the QR codes, but everything went really smoothly, so we didn't wait that long. <laughs> We got access to the members only collector's tent and they had some horses on display in there. And then we 
headed on over to get raffle tickets. That's where we saw the reveal for the surprise horse. Paisley gave me the biggest and best hug of the entire weekend. Then we headed over to the Briar store, got to experience that. We had to wait in line for a little bit, but not too bad. Then we headed over to the visitor's center and checked out the auction horses. And went to Leslie Kathman's talk. We went back to the special run line to get our special run. Paisley was there again. She painted my design on the back of her shirt. How cute is that? So we waited in the, the line for not long at all. It was the perfect time to get them. And then we basically made our way back to the house to go open all of our special runs as a group. Day one. Day one. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas for all of my children. <laughs> Earlier in the evening, I got a text that Mabel had made it as a finalist in the Stone Horse Contest. This taco truck outside the Clarion was amazing. So Stone Horses hosted a dinner that night in conjunction with the awards, but I didn't have tickets to that. So we were allowed to spectate from the sidelines and all of my friends came with me, which was super nice that they supported me through this. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Mabel placed second in her category next to Vincent. That was a really exciting accomplishment. So you can see Vincent's in the background. And it was so great to catch up with Tara. I wish we had more time together. She wanted me to sign her painted ponies horse that I made. Then I ran into Addie. She was so sweet. She was so excited to meet me and she painted me this really cute little stable mate. Saturday was my big day. I started out with teaching my very first in-person workshop. I taught everybody how to paint a blanket Appaloosa and the sample I created for this workshop was Duke and he was the horse that went on to become very viral on social media and captured me over 12 million views on Instagram and this was my first time doing anything like this so I was a little bit nervous. It ended up being so much fun. Way more fun than I anticipated and I definitely want to do it again and I think everybody learned something so it was super fun. Then we hustled over to Ginger Catherine's talk on cloud and forcibly made her sign our briars, which was very exciting. This was my souvenir I wanted most from the festival. Then I had a little bit of time before my meet and greet tent. And so this was the most exciting part of my Briar Fest experience. Briar gave me the meet and greet tent with Infinity Briars. And I'm just gonna let this footage play because this was the lineup for the tent and I thought I was gonna be recognized at Briarfest. I didn't think I was gonna be recognized by this many people. This is like beyond comprehension, beyond my wildest dreams. Like I, I honestly, it still gives me like goosebumps to look at this video. Like that is wild. I, I cannot say thank you enough to everyone who came out and stood in this hotline for as long as they did. Well, we ended up signing things and meeting everybody for an hour and a half. Didn't feel like an hour and a half, honestly. It felt like 10 minutes. It was the highlight. I loved meeting all of you. I loved saying hi. And it was so, so cool to hear everybody's stories and see all the proud parents and just be able to hang out for a little bit. I also got to meet Kat, who works for Briar and was 
super imperative in letting me have all of these opportunities. I cannot thank her and the Briar team enough for giving us this platform to do this. I ended up with so many friendship bracelets, they didn't even all fit on my wrist. And meeting people that I've talked to online for a long time. Trinity was awesome, so was her mom. And then we headed over to the raffle, which is like crazy experience. They didn't call my name. I say a redraw. And then boogied over to the live auction. They pulled out an Albarozo at the in-person event and it blew everybody out of the water. Three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three hundred and three and a quarter, three hundred and three and a quarter, now three and a half. Yes. 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 I have 13 here with the lady in pink. 13 now 14. 13 to 14 to 14. 23,000 to 37,500 bid 40,000 last haul. And we sold it. Would you pay $30,000 for a plastic horse? Then we had tickets to the evening show, which we were a little bit late for because the auction was just so exciting. It was really funny because I get goosebumps when I watch this stuff and so did Mariah. So we were laughing because we had goosebumps like the entire time. And then we headed back to the Clarion for the evening events, which was the social media meetup. I spent a little bit of time bouncing between that and the Artisans Gallery. This was Emily's husband, Elliot. I wonder if anybody has a green horse for sale. I'd really like to buy a green horse. <laughs> wow, I wonder if anyone has a green horse for sale. There he is! <laughs> he was such a good sport and super supportive over the weekend. Then we headed back to the Artisans Gallery for the Best Customs Contest Awards. Sunday was a lot more chill. We could just do kind of whatever we wanted this day and things were wrapping up. So we headed back to the horse park and we did some stable mate painting as a group, which was like a fun little activity. I met this amazing Frisian stallion. He was so funny. The owner let me into his stall and told me to give him neck scratches and he was living for it. He was huge. These horses were massive. I'm used to my pony. We said goodbye to Mariah in the morning as well, and then just kind of tootled around Briarfest in areas that we missed. Then the raffle was in the afternoon. Another redraw, please. And we said goodbye. Bye. My first Briar Fest over in the blink of an eye. And immediately we were all dead, just so dead. So then Monday, the next morning, we woke up relatively early and had to head out to the airport. We got these little plushies. My mom and I were having an emotional talk and this really nice man came over and bought us ice cream. We were so tired, like we did not sleep. <laughs> the plane looked like it was on fire on the inside, kind of concerning. The rain was a paid actor in saying goodbye but we made our way to Atlanta. Then all the way back to Spokane. And when we landed, the hotel host gave us a frozen dinner meal because we were starving. 
Tuesday, our car was still parked in Spokane, which was a miracle. We survived. We have a car. We got to sleep. Now we can just drive home. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> then I had a little gratitude cry on the way back because it was just all so overwhelming and a whirlwind of three days. And I really didn't film everything that I could have possibly filmed. My mom did her best and all this footage is kudos to her. But really, like, it was hard to capture the feeling. And this was my final haul which I've always wanted to have a haul where I lay all of the models out on the bed like everybody used to do and I used to grow up watching. So it was all a very full circle moment. I had the best time, seriously, like one of the best times of my life. It was so incredible to see all of my efforts finally paid off and get to meet all of you wonderful people. Here's to 2025. I'm going to do my very best to make it back as like a yearly thing. There's no way I can miss it now. There's just no way. Thank you so much for watching. This has been DJB. I hope you all had a wonderful Briarfest.